it's great to have an Android phone with a magnifier on it, but what if you could project that magnifier onto a big screen or a TV like this? Let's talk about one way to do that. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. My favorite Android magnifier app is called WeZoom. I actually did a video on it a while back and I will leave that in the description and in the info cards if you want to check that app out. It's a really great app. But whatever magnifier app that you want to use on your phone, what if you can connect that to a big monitor or TV like this and be sitting down and reading like a book in a, with a really big monitor? Monitor. So one way to do that is using a Chromecast and that is what I'm going to show you today. So I've got my Chromecast on and I'm going to cast my screen. But I have a curriculum book here. This is um, our homeschool curriculum book for this upcoming year. Um, so this is the first thing I pulled out to magnify. And so I'm just going to turn on WeZoom, connect the phone. And I can magnify it a lot on the TV. And you can change the contrast. You can change the size. So this is one great way of using your phone to create a kind of desktop CCTV video magnifier experience. So let's talk about how to do it. I have a Chromecast, which was just $35 on the Google store. I will leave a link down below. They also have like higher resolutions ones, but with my vision, I can't really tell the difference much. So I just use the regular, um, I think it's 1080p Chromecast and that works well for me and um, so once you have that all set up with your TV or your monitor and all you have to do is go to your quick settings you can swipe down from the top of your screen with two fingers or swipe with one finger twice and um, somewhere on there should say screencast once you tap on that it'll ask you of the list of devices that you want to cast to that are available and you tap the one you want and then there you go, it's going to cast your screen. Now, for if for some reason you don't have that quick setting available, you can go back to your quick settings and then hit the little pencil icon or the edit icon. It might be a little bit different for each um, type of Android phone, but there should be some way to edit it. And then the, scroll down to where there are um, icons that can be placed into quick settings and there should be one that says screencast. So you just tap and hold and drag that up into the quick settings area of your notifications. Another way to do this is by going to settings, going to connected devices, then connection preferences, and then hitting cast. And right there you can pick which device you want to cast to. And a third way, if that still doesn't work, is go to your Google Home application and then find the device. So ours is called Office. Tap on that and there should be a little button on the bottom that says cast my screen. And you just hit that. It'll ask you uh, if you want, if you're sure that you want to um, start it. You just press start now and there you go, it's going to cast your screen. So again, this works really well for a magnifier. And the only problem with this is you have to move your phone around and you know, your phone can get heavy. Well, this is the same problem that you have when you're using WeZoom. So I like to use a stand, a phone stand that I have, which unfortunately is somewhere in like the umpteenth box in the storage. <laughs> if you've seen our updates video, which I will link, um, you know, we were going to move and then we moved in with my parents. We almost bought a house and then Pablo lost his job. So we have all our things still in the storage. We're still living with our parents, but I will leave a link to um, a phone stand that I really like that um, keeps it hands free. You can have your phone clamped on and then you just move the paper under or the book under and it really makes it more of a desktop CCTV magnifier. 
And of course, the Chromecast is just really neat to have, even if you're just playing YouTube videos or sharing photos or just wanna see your screen a whole lot bigger, this is another great option for that. So that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up below and subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on technology and products and encouragement for people who are blind and visually impaired. And you can also go to our Amazon shop, which is amazon.com slash shop slash live accessible. And there you can check out some ideas for accessible technology and daily living aids that we use and some products for kids with low vision. That doesn't increase your price or anything. That just helps support the channel a little bit. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video.